now, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the Great Dr. Bright, and I don't know what second language this is, but <laughs> we will now begin. Chapter One. <laughs> I thought that said Prego instead of Pergo. I can't run. This is as fast as I can go. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you can always try to remember try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. North is always the correct way to go. See, I found a well. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck is that thing? Mortis. Touch for the very, for the very first time. What the fuck was that thing? Up, dear. Okay, so the deer's new. Maybe you follow the deer? Come back here, deer. Park here, bitch. I honestly have no idea where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck was that? The fuck was that? Bob, uh, the kid and I have missed you more every day. The twins, Amy and Heather, have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting too... getting cabin fever. The twins are having the problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and I and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think it might have a coyote I think we might have a coyote problem. Because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it it was a pretty gruesome sight. All all this just the day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you, you come home. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> I believe in the power of Jesus Christ. <laughs> so the deer's going up. Fuck off, bitch. Hehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected to registering the markers on your property <laughs> as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the grave stones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I have sent the gravestone rubbing, uh, rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I'll reach out to you when I get the response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. This is not real. Power Christ, bitch! Power Christ, motherfucker! I'm destroying the demon face! Oh yeah, did I ever put the cross at the well? Some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. facing towards him. I'm gonna die so many times just kidding what I need. Oh, okay. It saved my progress. lies in a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of the gra gravel path. It is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. 
Father Allard seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Further, Father Allred explained that we would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that leaving the family presence makes it difficult to perceive the element of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Close for comfort. That was too close for comfort. It mentioned to the right. Unless that was shed. It might have been the shed. <laughs> oh, I think I can go up from here and get to it. Why not? This one, right? Yeah, I did. was to the right of this. Oh, that was close. You. And a guy. <laughs> okay. You're really close that time. Where's the fucking house? I just went back in a fucking circle. Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess there's a more so about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her voluntary work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. What the fuck? Is the house up here? No. Okay. Fuck you. Look out of my sight. How 
about up here? No. Some people are running this way. Please tell me you're leading me to the house. chair perfectly calm s staring at us it is hard to describe the look on her face it was not that it was not the kind of look a child gives you why is there purple in this aha knew it ah I don't like how there's no more music. Oh, that's mm, horrifying. The real question is, is the demon still going to try and kill me now? It's a big ass fucking bed. Oh, I didn't see what I could do down here. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, okay. There's blood by that door. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. 
I hear voices outside the outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking around a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her. And I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Okay, so I can't go in there. I can't put my holy powers on the blood. There's a door down here I didn't go through. Oh, the, the fact Okay Didn't know that before seen anything new. I interact with that fruit bowl thing. No, I did not. But it does nothing. Ah. That's what the escape button does. Hmm, I guess I have to go back outside? That kind of seems weird. Oh, wait a minute. These are stairs, aren't they? I'm a Fucking moron. I thought it was a bookshelf, but who puts a bookshelf in a kitchen? What's that was trying to do, but whatever. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you ask what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Gwen Bamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and American religions. One of the saints they worship is San Lamaret. Or Saint Death. 
Yesterday we talked to a boy about this. When we asked him if he if he had prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to Saint San Lamarette. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house. And according to him, they prayed to some figures of, of San Lamarette. And the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and, and scared looking after that. We told him we could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. We need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in, in four months. <sighs> Jeez, why am I tired? Anyways, Layton. I mean, I'm not tired. I'm just yawning a lot. Maybe it's because I'm reading. That's probably what it is. It's probably because I'm reading. But deal with it, mind. What the fuck? Okay, so you don't need to use the. Oh no! Amy's parents could not endure to witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Miss Martin's was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of of the fear. Father Aldred asked me to take the. Take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother. The whole time, finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on things. I found Father Alchard lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh. Um. What the fuck? He is here. Well, here she comes. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of decep deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help, but the others, from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began to write again. Alright, I'll be right back.
Yeah, give me a moment because I forgot to add the sound alerts. Um, browser source. So, give me a moment and I should be able to add that. Yeah, I took Blurp away because there was too many uh, copyright claims stuff. Alright. All right, I'm going to do a test to make sure it's working. Did that get heard? Yes, I returned it. There's also another one. You can also, um, tomorrow there will be ones where you can force me to do steps and push-ups, by the way. I just don't feel, I got a little sick earlier, so I don't feel like doing that. So I turned it off. But, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh. Let's go add it to the gaming scene. No, we can play with physical activity. I want to lose weight. I've been game. I I started losing weight. I lost eighty pounds. I I made it back. I I got the eighty pounds back. I need to lose weight. So I'm gonna force. Me so you guys are gonna force me to lose it. I wonder if I can still use... Okay. I'm not gonna do it. But here's the sound alert for drop and give me 20. Why don't you drop down and give me 20, you big piece of trash? <laughs> and I turned it off, so no one uses it. Oh my god, the doggos are going nuts. There must be people walking around the neighborhood. Anyways, let's go back to horror. So, damn, that's pretty expensive. My plan. <laughs> Is it really that expensive? Because I can lower the, the points. Like, I'm not going to do it like a hundred. Or something like that. What do you think is fair? It's like 3,000. It should be okay where it is. Okay. Right. Anyways. I have baptized the doll. I think. I think that's what baptism is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not Christian. <laughs> but I must be sh stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Amesh about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. <laughs> what the fuck? We did it like 22 times. Oh my god. It has an hour cooldown, by the way. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. 
can't just make me do push ups the entire stream. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self conscious about working at the clinic. So, like the most egregious of foreign jokes. Got it. Oh my god. Oh. Power of Christ compels you, bitch. Oh. <laughs> the power of Christ didn't save me. <laughs> she is here. So probably leave the room she's in. Before she... Oh, okay. Okay, fuck you. Out of this bitch. I'm a terrible priest. She is here. Oh yeah, that's, that's great. Can you tell her not to kill me? Bitch. Okay, so I have to do it immediately. Oh my god, doggos! It's just someone parking their car. Okay, so you have to immediately guess. Is that one of your bed priests? I don't know, children who are harmed by your character. Okay. Okay, fuck off. Probably have to go down here. Yes, fuck you. Get the fuck away from me. I heard a door open upstairs. God damn it. <laughs> I thought I had to go down here. Oh my god, I just get your message, Bookworm. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm the Christian. How do I not get the most obvious free shit? Oh my god. <laughs> I thought your time was like, oh yeah, I haven't hurt, murdered, or punched kids. No. The most th the thing I can't talk about on Twitch is what you're talking about. God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, 
Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, went with... When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. To be fair, you're not a Catholic, so it doesn't relate to you too much. Oh my god. I have to go back to that house. The nightmare I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. May the power of Christ compel you, bitch. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? No. I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Power of Christ compels you, bitch. Shit. More this. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is now? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Okay, so when that thing starts coming out, I need to tell it that I can. Okay, I can't tell the fuck off. <laughs> my God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Oh my gosh, doggos are going face. crazy again. Okay, so how do we beat you? Do I just leave the room? I just avoid you. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. Are you like on a timer or something? Pokemon Nuzlocke's box bosses are harder than you. At least this is what I'm thinking I'm supposed to do. Ooh, 
aquí. I honestly don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. Was hurting you so Mortis. much. Okay, so maybe. Okay, so I got an idea. I need to head straight down so that way I have more time hurting her. Some bullshit. Mortis. That is some bullshit. It's no matter where I go. Mortis. No matter where I go, I just gonna die repeatedly. How do I kill you? Drive me insane. This is gonna drive me mentally insane. How do I beat this? you before you can kill her it's not fucking fair doesn't say that. Oh, I need to dodge. Coming from here. Ha. Okay. 
Okay, now I got it. Come here. Ooh, okay. This boss ain't seen the last of me. Yeah. Fuck you. What the fuck? More this. Okay. More this. Do not stand in her way. God damn it. It is so hard to avoid her. Back! More this. I'm gonna die so many times. God damn it! More this. I don't know where she's gonna land. It ain't fair. What the fuck? More this. She can go up second time. How am I supposed to fight something that's faster than you? What the fuck? Why should you just randomly attack? Oh, it's because I stepped on those fucking lines. That's such bullshit. Mortis. Like, how am I supposed to hurt her? How am I supposed to hurt her? If I can't fucking move. What the fuck? Mortis. Do I just dodge the entire time? Cause I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. So I touch that red line, I'm dead. Boy, what am I supposed to do? I hate when I don't give in instructions. How do I beat you? Yeah, because that protective ring keeps me from going to you. It's not fair. I can't go near her. There's no point. There's no point in fighting. Literally none. I 
wasn't even touching you. Marcus. This is starting to piss me off. Because it's not even a fair fight. if it's like a weighted out type of thing Marcus. or something else I don't know what this is because I can't go near her it's impossible to go near her I'm only assuming it's a weighted out She's supposed to go. Marcus. It's so hard. I must book when I found out what I'm actually supposed to do. If I'm actually supposed to hurt her. I don't know how. Fuck, I'm supposed to. Okay. Just keep dodging. Okay. So fucking fast. Okay. Oh, hey, you're not moving anymore. Oh, I just have to wait it out. That's what I gotta do. I gotta wait it out. God damn it! Marcus. But it's so difficult to wait it out. I haven't looked it up yet, but it looks like you got it. That is so stupid. Especially when they move faster than you. There's no safe spot to stand to avoid death. Okay, what else goes? This is so. This is the stupidest boss fight I've ever fought. It really is. It really is the stupidest boss fight. Chapter 1. The first chapter. I wasn't even near you. What the fuck? Marcus. I wasn't even touching <laughs> It's hard to avoid Because she's faster Can you leave the pentacle? Yes, I can
like it. Leaving the pentagram method works really well. I, should, I wonder if I can just stay here and be safe. I might just be able to stay here and be safe. Yeah, <laughs> just move slightly over. I feel so fucking stupid. I feel so fucking stupid. I'm so sorry for getting mad. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to put a game on hard mode. That was close. That was way too close. Okay. Yeah, I was. I am so stupid. I did actually get a little bit far in one run while being in the pentagram. <laughs> so I think she's gonna be there next. Yep. And then you're gonna be up over here. Wait, that guy. Ah, uh, Christ compels you, bitch. Remember, kids, the thing outside the pentagram. Oh my god. <laughs> You're probably gonna clip that, me being a fucking moron, aren't you? <laughs> The shadow creature. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, okay. Oh, the first time, the last time. Finish what you started? Question mark. I have to go back and clip it. <laughs> it's been too long. Yeah. I did it, Bookworm. I beat my first boss in this game. <laughs> Hello? Guess I leave the house? Kill her. A dog with one bullet. Okay. I think she's supposed to be in the basement. And next, there should be a branching path depending on what you choose. Oh, I'm choosing flat out murder. <laughs> you know me, bookworm. Okay, so she's not in the basement. Uh, depends on who or what you murder. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that demon in the woods. Yeah, the demon that likes deer. You know what? That guy killed him a couple times. I want to go kill it. Where are you, bitch? 
nhé mèo That's not... Wait, that's not who I was thinking of. I'm not gonna kill her. I'm gonna see if I can kill that demon. If I kill her, I'll be misogynistic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here's the well. Remember that. Shoot, no killing women even if they are demons. Where the fuck is this demon? I love all demon women. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon Damn. him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Ow. I so can't Mexican explain demon. what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. And that's chapter one. Police animal experts investigate Chupacabra. Remains found near Sterling. Not Wait, demon, just a creature that sucks blood out of coats. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling a chupacabra were discovered by Snake Metal Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of the carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motors who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of, of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here said a Sterling Police spokesman. This isn't accurate. Police don't give a shit about the public. Anyways, <laughs> this, this is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found. 
although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appear in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. New background online. New play mode online. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. Okay, this is new. I have to finish what I started. I already finished what I started. I just shot the demon. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. So it said I got new backgrounds. Okay, we got the Sutexi. What the f- Okay, a naked man. Oh, this, this is the boss. Okay. Anime opening. <laughs> Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. No background. I think I'll stick with uh, Sue Taxi. The game's not loud, right? Wait, there's extras? Survival mode, generation mode, replay intro, credits. Great. We finished chapter one. Marathon mode. All three chapters in one session. Oh. Now we're on to chapter two. Use it to spit now. Did it actually go down in volume? I I don't know. I can't tell on my end. Go down in volume. It doesn't sound like it, but it might just be the starting screen you can't change. Ah. So I'll just keep it at 55. Home lag. Turbo. I'm a new priest. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael da Davies. Davies or David? Davis? I don't know. From your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already con 
contacted by our office, a rep representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation and return for their discretion. <coughs> Sorry about that. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Griffith. Oh, great. I'm Catholic. Thank you, right? In your pronunciation of Davies. Okay. I. <laughs> the reason I say it is because the m biggest Christian religion in Italy and Rome area were Catholic. You were Catholic before? <laughs> I didn't realize that. I didn't piece it together. Two weeks. Three months. Oh, God. I'm cheap, right? Hi. Hi, Brent. One day, okay. I mean, it is. In Italy and Rome, the biggest Christian religion was Catholic. I'm not wrong. Shit. I mean, the penis box. Aha. Imagine not knowing that when a priest is referred to as father and a big focus on exercising demons, the denomination of Christianity we are referring to is likely Catholicism. Oh my God. I see you found the text of speech. Mon Three months of hell. It's 2 a.m. Oh, I I'm back to this guy. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to e exist on the edges of memory. Pressing escape key or the start button is a good way to remember what you don't realize you have forgotten. Okay. I see as Catholics were predominantly in the alien realm. <laughs> Holy shit. Someone's into mutilation porn. with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long-lost friend.
Theorist Disciple. Fertility... I mean, wait, not fertility. Barely. <laughs> Just start off the letter. Fertility. <laughs> says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first con conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must, must then walk among the children of men and as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. There's a spirit house. Okay. Hey, I did a thing, I guess. Trying to steal a cross. Hello, little child that I can punt. Is there no point in coming over here? Oh, now you want to do that. So the background art does confirm that I am a member of the Blue Man Group. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you! You can't move. That's bullshit. Isn't it just random blood this time? when he does that. Oh, come on! I guess I know what to do now. Get your long seventeen like penis away from me. Yes, fuck you.
Bitch. Is there anything else? Yeah. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctors seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visiting those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday, I was walking and was shocked to see the ma woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path and into the woods. That's when I met Gary. And that's the story of how I met your mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh, the woman's gone. See it. Oh, what the fuck? Mortis. You can barely see it. It's not very fair. You're a lot easier than the first first one. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to go see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That might be my step... That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's houses. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. fucking coffin, but whatever. So that means another person's gone, right? Yes, there's only one boss. One mini boss left. Okay, so this chapter two has more bosses. It's locked.
So it's nothing up here. Most definitely has something to do in that fog area. Go. Been everywhere over here, so it's not over there. It's locked. No matter where I go, over up here, there's nowhere to go. Where do I go for the final one? I'll be right back.
and I'm back. Alright. What the fuck? Why is this on? Why was that? How long was that on? <laughs> I'm not sure if Bokram saw my DM, or if they're still here. But I have sent you a DM. Since they're out of this, out of this place, where the fuck is the final demon I need to fight? It's not over here. I definitely have to do something up here. Oh, gee, this is neat. Ah, so you saw it? Yeah. Just let me know when you sign in, and then I can add you. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Just try not to do songs, because that will get me in trouble. Are you signed in? Okay, give me a moment. Alright. <gasps> I have just added you. I... I'm not sure if it did anything. But anyways. <laughs> oh, hi Hatchet. I didn't know you joined. <laughs> Wait, am I muted in Discord? Oh my god. I didn't realize I was muted in, di in Discord. You didn't realize you were muted? No. Oh no, were you just sitting there talking to me and I was just sitting here <laughs> waiting for you to get back from the bathroom or some shit? Yeah, I was like, oh, Hedge, I didn't realize you joined a no response. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I figured I'd, I figured I'd hop in and chill until it's time for me to do my stream yes. in like, yeah. like, forty some minutes. Yeah, I, did you know what I called my stream though? No, let me go look. Destroying faith entirely. Nice. <laughs> Professional stream where everyone says bug. Just both muted waiting for the other to speak. Yeah. 
It, it was it was a game of muted chicken. I'm having bacon and toaster strudel for supper. Yeah. Can't find where this final demon and bright gave him very so bright is chimkin. We are we are right. Fuck you. Very true. Very true. Man, tell me where the f <laughs> your demon is. I, had I think that was Heinz. Huh? I think that was Heinz Doofels Doofenshmirtz with an afro and a beard. Oh my god. He's not doing so good. Yeah. That I'm pretty sure once I defeat all demons, this gate that leads to nothing will open. Hmm. It's just a random gate that's locked. Like, I can go around it. That's normal. <laughs> it's locked. Don't you know there's one of those in every cemetery? <laughs> it won't lead to nothing, I think, at least to hell. Oh. I can't think going to hell, that makes sense. That sounds mean. I mean... If hell is actually in the slightest bit just and is based upon, like, some finite punishment for deeds committed rather than just being where you go if you don't believe in J Jabebus... Yeah. And there's gonna be a lot of Catholics in hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of Christians of all denominations in hell. Yeah, there's actually one part I believe in hell that I don't see many Christians believe in. Which is, if you do get sent down there, your hell will be personalized to you specifically. Like, everything you've ever done wrong that's a sin will impact you mm. for all entire eternity. Mm. The biggest issue in my mind is the concept of it being an eternal punishment. Yeah. But, yeah. Right, would be cancelled by the Catholic crowd if they made it this far. <laughs> yeah. Then again, we don't even know if hell is internal. Because hell's only spoken about once in the Bible, and it didn't even talk about shit about being eternal, it just says it's a place. <laughs> Not to mention, let's just be entirely frank, even with that, we still don't know. Yeah. Because the afterlife is massively uncertain. Yeah. Sure, we don't even know if hell's real. Like, I'm in this space of, like, I'm hopefully optimistic for an afterlife. I think it'd be really awesome to go to Helheim when I'm dead. Mm -hmm. You know, see all the cats I love, all my family members, ch chat with some old ancestors and stuff. I think that'd be sweet. But I still remain skeptical that it's a thing. So it's like, I'm hopefully optimistic, but... I think the way that it's similar to how, like, Ocean Keltoid put it. Um, I'm optimistic that it will... Oh, that's not normal. <laughs> I'm, I'm hopefully optimistic for it, but if hell, like, if the afterlife doesn't exist, then I won't be around to be disappointed. 
Yeah. Honestly, I like my Christmas tree decoration. Now, hell, single L is kind of based. Yes, that is true. And no, I do not like that tree decoration. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had a choice in chapter one that led to different paths and different endings. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to choose between shooting a woman or the chupacabra. I shot the chupacabra. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know nothing about this game. I see you wandering around a now spooky forest and a fucking cemetery. Where the fuck did the chupacabra come from in this narrative? <laughs> Like, dead-ass chupacabra? Like, no no exaggeration? What the fuck? That's what the game called it. But yeah, it was apparently a demon that was constantly harassing me in the woods. And I used the power of... God. <laughs> As you can see. This is... uh, most effective. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized something. If he took the cross away, it, it looks like something else. Oh no. <laughs> nah, the arm would be closer to the head. Yeah. But still. <laughs> Why did my mind go there? <laughs> oh, these toaster strudels are so good. Yeah, but, um. Yeah. And the woman, I. I was, uh, exercising? Exorcism or whatever the fuck the, the fur for that is? But anyways, uh... Yeah, I was doing that, and she fled, and I'd either shoot her, or the chupacabra. Hmm. Apparently the Martin Estate, where you are in most of this game, is in Connecticut. Yeah, so I, I said to Bookworm when I saw found the woman, I said, I'm not gonna shoot the woman because that'll be misogynistic. <laughs> Alright, depends on your motivation, but sure. Yeah, I only had one bullet, so I had to choose. Yeah. And also, are you just calling something the chupacabra or is it literally the chupacabra? It it literally said in the police report after I killed it, it, it was the chupacabra. I, I, it's in Connecticut. So? Chupacabra, I'm... <laughs> Chupacabras are not a Connecticut cryptid. Oh my god, this is, this is so stupid. You missed out on having push-ups. Redeem on this stream could have had you exercise when you exercise. <laughs> Maybe someone smuggled the chupacabra up to Connecticut. <laughs> chupacabra got poached. <laughs> I am trying to find the very last demon to murder. Some rich person found the baby chip cover and thought it was cute, then abandoned it. That tracks. Yeah, how it died, I laughed. Because I shot it, it started walking off, like, trying to get away, and then get hit, hit by a semi truck. <laughs> and mutilated that way. Rip Bozo. Can't find out where his demon is. His demon is the final demon I have to find. It's 
it's not down here, because that's where I fought the second demon. I probably had to do something with this area, but I don't know what. Just flash across at the tombstone. Which part of chapter 2 are you in? I... I don't know. I know. Probably near the very beginning. Like, I barely started. I just beat two of the mini-bosses. And... Oh, yeah. I killed that child thing over there by flashing a cross at it. Nice. Rip. The walkthrough is labeled in prologue part one and part two. I'm in the prologue? <laughs> it means I haven't even started chapter two. <laughs> God damn it. something down here? Yes. Have you attempted to tickle that grass? Oh my god. Sorry, Hatchet, but it's not the good stone? push. <laughs> Have you gone to the basement? There's no basement in the cemetery. Oh yeah, that's the basement. Yeah, I passed that because that's what started off the with Father Garcia. Oh yeah, I'm ca I'm a Catholic priest in this game. <laughs> uh. I can't believe I only, like, realized this a few, like, nights ago, mm -hmm. but I realized another advantage to now having Disney Plus is they can actually, like, fucking catch up with Marvel stuff and see if I like it. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually... I think the... Huh? Oh, go ahead. There was one thing I did check to see it was Marvel. I, I, I didn't go through either one or two very long, which is Into the Spider-Verse, if you know what that is. Well, yeah, I've heard of it. Oh, never mind. I Apparently, of... uh, uh, oh. Okay, bookmark. Oh, what was that hatchet? Uh, um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. God damn it. Yeah, I didn't like it though. Mm. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, Hatchet, in the background of the game that you can see there, like on the sides, that's my demon boyfriend. Okay. I still think it has something to do with up here. One exciting section of the game that I find you in while I wait for Seven to come around. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> like, you miss me fighting too many bosses, and you come in when I'm struggling to find the third one. I come in when you're repeatedly fucking grinding up against a fucking tombstone, trying to figure out what the fuck to do. It looks like I'm kicking it now. Also, can you go to the left or right? Yeah, I can, but watch what happens if I go to the left.
Oh, what about <laughs> vice versa? Sure, I can do that. Yep. Well, okay. Oh, it is. Okay, let me reset. Okay. Bookworm found the answer. <laughs> Left. Uh, at. Right up. Yep, and right and up. Nothing happened. Path you must take to draw out the demon in the upper left part of the cemetery. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 there it is. Bitch. Power of God on my side. <laughs> I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By you are cutting out really bad. Okay, hold on. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with the secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted stay along the rocks along in five, first at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Okay, so first at the top left point, and then down. The power in God of God anime rip you. Yeah, if you don't have the anime alongside you, the power of God isn't very useful. Oh, well, that's creepy. Hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, the, okay. That's normal. <laughs> and I'm just bleeding everywhere. Everything's fine. Everything is A. Okay. Right, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> I wonder if, if we're ever going to uh, do that Power Wash Simulator collab with Ailey, how many times I'm going to have to fucking wash off your fucking phallic imagery. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not nuggling with the windows. Oh, God. You remember that? I, I remember. That's normal. Uh, hello? Don't disturb Billy. He's very angry when you wake him up in the middle of his slumber. I have to figure out which one it is. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Why was there a little purple toddler sprinting away from this derelict building? 
<laughs> she guards the door to underground purgatory. I had not seen her. Children fear her. Confess thy sins. Is masturbation a sin? I'm sorry. I mean, I I guess in mo like a lot of more conservative uh, denominations, yeah, it's considered a sin for no good reason. Oh yeah, did you know there? It's a, in one Christian religion. I forgot which one, but it's a sin to watch any form of social media, including TVs, even if it's on the Christian channel, because apparently. Apparently it will try to deceive you or something, so it's a sin. I think I heard something about that, yeah. Yeah. Also, apparently it's also a sin to eat bubble gum. On the same page. Well, that one just makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Day one of our paranormal investigation. Into the Old Sneak Metal Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. <laughs> the perfect supplies. Yeah. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the, the chapel. But there was this spindly lady gnome. A uh, lady gang. Why did I say gnome? Spindly lady gnome. <laughs> yeah. That we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman. Please take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There's an even old rhyme they used. They told us, "Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you'll see her. She'll move when you do, but never try to trick her." Awesome. We're gonna try the game tonight as soon as we get set settled in. They were murdered. Rip. Yeah. You know what? Actually, huh? Um, I think I need to hop off. I need to go do something before I stream. Okay. So, uh, what were you about to say? I was gonna say, Hatch, I'm about to confess my sins. Pray for uh, me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeds have you yet to confess? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, yeah, I anyway. couldn't save her. Have a good night. I left yeah, her to night. die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for him good. For his mercy and yours forever. He hatch, uh, not hatch, uh, Booker, I confess my sins. Uh, I watched furry porn. <laughs> That's a joke. I've never watched furry porn. <laughs> Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. Secret passage in the old confession booth, leading to this... Wait, what happened? Leading to this hallway. Henry's gonna go into the town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of, of these doors, but that's not even the best part. We, we caught an EVP. What the fuck's an EVP? You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. I 
twins that you have sins regardless. The holy bonds. Killed a child. Night three. She shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck be behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Like I said, they died. They honestly died. This is why I don't go in haunted places. Alone, that is. He is apparently an electronic voice phenomena. Ah. Hey, Booker, would you like to haunt, uh, visit a haunted place with me? Why does this candle look like a dick? <laughs> Why does that candle look like a dick? I didn't mean to do that. Maybe. <laughs> Night two, we're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves. But nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up, but it's by itself, as soon as Lars walked into the room, it, it was nuts and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune sign this to TV to the TV stations. If you live. But anyways, I'll be right back. I need to get the bush to man. <laughs> I, I cut myself off because I said everyone pushes the bus, so I'll be right back.
And I'm back. God damn it, Busta. Bye, Candle Penis. What the fuck? Power crash the cozy bitch. What the fuck? Mortis. This is bullshit. Mortis. Now I'm supposed to know where she's gonna be. Come on, I was facing the wrong direction. Not in this room this time. What if I can just avoid her? Watch the candles. Okay, so it can... You go back to that room. I'll probably reset everything. Nope, 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 nope. So it's set to two. You're at one. Which means she's near. Around? Oh, I can't. I can just fucking leave. See you there, bitch. I 
had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the, the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there, me and the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too, but little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. I have to do something in here. I'm guessing I can't do anything right now. Okay, I can't kill it. More this. Good to know. I'm confused. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to do? Oh, this is new.
Bookrun, do you have any idea what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I'm confused. Oh, I can dodge her. Okay. Back! I got stuck on the fucking benches. You can kill her. Just don't get stuck on the fucking benches. Why does she keep spawning in that room and not over here? Where, you know, I have more room to move? Or maybe in here where there's even more room. Or in here. Is it like this? The longer I stay in a room, the more likely she's gonna come out? Oh, the candle moved. She's in here. She's in here somewhere. A lot harder than it looks. This is. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. All candles are gone. Aha! Darkness surrounds thee. I got an achievement. Who's watching me now? I did it, Bookworm. You proud of me? <laughs> this is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on the page of a of the good book. I now descend 
the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Was I supposed to stay on there? Like, I'm confused. Okay. I know what to do. Time to be a little cheatsy. Take the picture. I can't see chat. While I'm doing this. So I mean it's this one. No, not that one. Okay, so. Which one do I start at? Jesus, where do I, how do I do this? I am so confused. Okay, I'm taking away the picture. I don't know what to do. Because the second I leave this area, I'm dead. See? Dead. Dead. Oh, wait. Okay, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Okay, so that was wrong. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so it's this one, then X, then it should be this one, yes, then this, then you. Then you, then you, then you, then you, yeah! Hey, it's not cheating if they give you the, the, the picture to use. <laughs> Mothers of demons. Congrats. Okay, I finally figured out what it was. I was in an outhouse? That's one big-ass outhouse.
I'm the master of puzzles, right, Bookworm? Oh. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling Khan. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night, and what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Artwood Angel Nogales and Troy in Ingles are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. He prayed, apparently there's a note at the bottom of the staircase at red 2 o'clock, meaning you should have started at 2 o'clock. Oh my god. Times to be headed. Okay. Pendulum. Alright, Ragnet. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were, were found several miles from Gallic Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been des desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents would be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a realist, ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of the certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may have connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. Ward was, Ward had impersonated a priest. To gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Looks like part two is the bad ending, and no spoilers, but it's pretty cool. Investigators are are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Artwood, Nogales, and Inglés because, after all, they were degenerate devil worshipping thugs who were hooked on the on crack cocaine and ate their parents what the fuck why why even conduct investigation at all that's what you you would like them to think wouldn't you john they were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved you actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb you stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in the in their ruined drug addict bodies. And then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You can't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at the door. Her head is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium Ragnets of the Lens, I can't read Italian. I'm dead. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was Venus. I'm here, John. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm a demon. Fuck yeah.
Okay. A candy tunnel. <laughs> Am I about to be molested? <laughs> Cause <laughs> never mind, and don't answer that. <laughs> so wait. Did I miss something, bookworm? Anyway, pandemonium reigns. The pan means like pandemonium reigns. Saint lives on. I'm hearing chase music. if I miss something. Two more dead discovered outside Kenny Tunnel, near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drain... Drainage ditch under Snake Meadow, Hill Road outside Sterling. The motorist candy tunnel, no, notorious candy tunnel, known in the area to be a home of to addicts, g gangs, runaways, and the indigent, has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of the possibilities connection to Joe Bowman, aka Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. So you know, Bookrun has said anything. I'm assuming I didn't miss anything. Nope, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go read, okay. There's no, there's nothing to read. When see, I so, I was mistaken. Part of the level, this this part of the level does exist, but it would look different for the bad ending. Mm -hmm. When you ah, why aren't you at yourself? Anyways. <laughs> When you s when you see don't move. When you see don't when when you see it don't move. Okay. 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 <laughs> Go here. Ah. 
When I was a boy, my Nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. Oh, too bad I nuked it. Anyways, in those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster. So instead, they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it. Keep it satisfied, it was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year so that the, the beast would not come down from the mount mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of the Jenkins down into the, its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid and the child... I'm not gonna finish saying that part. The child runaways. I'm not gonna say that other word. I'm not gonna say that. They'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can, it can have them, for all I care. Nobody wants them around, except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Yeah, you can see why I didn't want to say that word. I guess it's telling me what to do with the other one. Can I go down here? No, I did not. Yeah, uh, and I think the Catholic Church aren't the good guy, aren't the good guys in this game, right? Oh. Which means they can't be the good guys in fiction or reality. <laughs> Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law of enforcement officials have reported are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels where suspected murder Joe Bauman, aka the candy store killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Oh, I'm just back here. Wait, what? Oh, I can't leave. I said I'd go this way. Just saying. They're talking about leaving vulnerable children to be eaten by a monster. Yeah. Wait, I have an idea. I got an idea.
Can I go this way? Aha! Big brain. I don't want to go there yet. I'm sorry, God. Please save me. Wait, is it possible for a god to have a religion? What? I guess who would he worship though? I don't know. Okay. Am I supposed to be doing something before I go there? I am so confused. What would they worship? I don't know. Oh, I can go down. I couldn't see because of the mic. Oh my god, that is... Back! Even with the flashlight, it's hard to tell where the fucker is. At least it's slow, unlike the other demons. Wait, it would be funny if if God was wor worship Satan. Will you You get Children? Okay. 
I don't know where it is. <gasps> okay. This bitch. He next says the picture on the tap. Wow, well, well, keep the demons at bay. Well, I killed the demon. Oh wait, I think you read a different part. Yeah, I can see you, bitch. What? Where did I get? Crashed your party. Enter the hidden sanctum. Okay, this is the part. They hate the light. At the door. When you keep the demons at bay and exercise the picture. Which picture? Oh, there's a different area you can go. I thought it was somewhere in that room. Oh! 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 Fuck off. Back off. Woo, okay. Back off. Back off. Back off. Yeah, fuck off. Back off. Back off. Woo, okay, fuck off. Back off. Yeah, I killed your picture, bitch. What you gonna do about it? That book or I thought you said it was gonna be difficult. That wasn't hard. Should be here. Away from me. Back, back, found demons. Back, back, found demons. <laughs> Let me in. Oh, sweet, there's light. <gasps> I was saved. Hi, bitch. Yeah. 
I turned the wrong direction. It's so hard, especially when they moved. And if they stay in the spot, it'll be fine. I will say, oh, the Lord, he despised refuge and died for Chris. Fuck you. I shall not be afraid of the day. God, I'm coming much more faster. Like that, knowing where she is. How many times do I gotta do this? Back. Okay, look. At least I'm in this spot. Just as she killed me. Mortis. You have blind spots on Diagos. Yeah, I know. It's not fair. This is definitely an annoying boss. Fuck off. I had the power of God and anime on my side. Ah! 
I got. Woo! 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 So, I saw her. She was up here somewhere. Oh no! Now you're down here. Okay. Thank you. Oh come on! More this. What the hell? Bitch! Power of Christ compels you, bitch! Fuck! I wasn't prepared for that shit! It's using... You're helping me, bitch. Ouch. Oh, shit. Well, he's dead. And I'm dead. that I can't run. Oh, he's dead. It is so hard because she outruns you. God damn it. Why did they make it so you can't outrun them? It is not fair. Life still. You might want to move. Okay, he's dead. Hmm. Oh, come on. You can't just fucking do that shit. 
Like at the last part, they just chase you and you just die. That's it, you just die. Priest, you might want to move. Okay, they're dead. Please be almost dead. Please be almost dead. Ooh, get away from there. Ooh, okay. Father Garcia is dead. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I'll always love you back, Molly. I'm not going in there. Okay. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need to be answered. That need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you, Father Garcia. Father, you're dead. I survived a nightmare, but did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak. And I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the coin, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Oh, I hate that boss so much. Game over. Ending 2. Road to Redemption. New backers are like, new effect on like, new play mode on like. Alright, let's see the new backgrounds. Okay, we got that, but I feel the corn, okay? Uh, 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 branches, alright. Darkness. Yeah, I keep that one. Okay. I'll actually be right back. God damn it, can I stop hitting this fucking key? Anyways.
ready to, to do the final chapter? of needles, but I think it'll be fine. September 21st, 1986. <laughs> Before everything took place like a prologue. I just phased through the woman. Don't you know if- Yeah, yeah, by the way, since I faced through her, she's pregnant. That's how it works. Face through him now, he's pregnant. You're supposed to be teaching me. Why are you walking so slow behind me? Three days until the profane Sabbath or whatever. John, we didn't. We don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and John, Jason, they will perform their, a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. Is Malthus an actual name for a demon? Anyways, I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. You must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Father Garcia. Hey. What? Y you're dead. How are you messaging me? Bookworm. I'm not going in there. Bookworm, what did I tell you about re resurrecting my dead bodies? I tell you about doing that. 
John, I can't find Nate or Jason Mar uh, Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I will try and find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find a place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their plans. Foya con Dios, Father Garcia. I don't know what that means. Um, to wait for three days before arresting correcting them? I already know how to fucking read notes, goddammit. Now, what I, t book room, I told you before resecting the dead body, you're supposed to mutilate the bodies. That way, when they become resurrected, they suffer. Anyways, I'm a morbid person. Rocks the Hell Out of Hartford, Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Featuring appearances by When All Is Said Is Done, Trust No Corpse, The Warrior Is Dead, Basement 2, Return to Bondage, Among the Bloodied, Lines Still in Silence, Mother in Shadow, and Door to the Afterbirth. Average sale ticket is $3. Emission at door, $5. That is cheap for a concert. That is so fucking cheap. At least concert in my area was at least three hundred dollars for a fucking ticket. Jesus Christ, that's cheap. <laughs> in the balls, pick them in the balls. <laughs> Shit, there's strippers in here? I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> Sorry. Am I supposed to go to the T or something? Sideways jig. Yes, I hope I is for you, Bridger. There's other places I can go. Dead bird. Oh, I'm just back here. God damn it. Wait, that looks like Gaster from Undertale. Right there. This middle one. Wait, is that supposed to be like Sans and Papyrus? Did you see the three skeleton brothers? like that. Okay, so you can't be hit by cars. <gasps> Good to know. Yes, I'll 
place for you, Peter. Can I steal his shit? Oh, I see what I need to do. I see what I need to do. Bitch, you feel watched. Thanks to Ron Honda Eve Erickson from Gary Miller. Thanks, zero eight one seven eight five zero zero two. Hi, Rhonda. Just a couple reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their health care experience. Remember, our sales points clean, quick, and courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Anyways, please do call me on the direct personnel line. If you happen to hear back from Miss Martin. One more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. End facts. Ow. Oh. It's a bunch of ultrasounds. Means someone had sex. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? I got a crowbar. Someone got a crowbar here. And I can't use it. Jesus. Are you being fucked with that? I'm dead. Mortis. I need to hide. I think I'm okay. Is that moving? And see you later, bitch. Yes. I need to hide. Okay. 
I'm an expert hider, right, Bookworm? Am I moving this thing? What the hell is going on here? You're coming with me, creature. I got someone with a gun helping me. I'm gonna need your gold. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? And I died because you're terrible at your job. There it is. I'm gonna need your gold, bar preacher. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Stay away from me, bitch. <gasps> Cap, shoot it. Oh my gosh, you're terrible at your fucking job. Oh my gosh, crap, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to murder you before this thing does. Fucking hell. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. But from who put that for me? Officer's dead. Actually, I'm not even sure if Brooklyn's still in checks. I haven't said anything in a while. Investigate the clinic. Bezel baby. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. 
Hi, bud. I guess you're really back. I'm glad that's back. I can't move them. That's what I needed to do. Watch, if Arthur gonna see is gonna be dead. And I imagined him that time and he helped me in the boss fight. Or that was his soul that helped me. And he just died again. <laughs> Take it, savor. Starts my ninth. Nancy and sent two days until the profane Sabbath. There's three letters. John, for now this is the only way I can contact you. I think they are watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my, my friend Tiffany. John, there's an apartment building in New Haven. They may be attempting to summon Malthus. Not, I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Voya con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting the letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I've seen them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in a day. When you get here, just come straight to, the, to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Lisa. So when am I going to get ass fucked by demons? I'm curious. Among the damned. Mr. Ward, I'm sorry to have to purge you. I'm perfectly fine. 
I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am very much better. Now, please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the, con in the country so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. I shall take my other notes from Lisa. O5A. Okay, that's darkness. I don't like that. I can get bombed by bookworm. Bookworm's not paying attention. I can say as much horny shit as possible. <laughs> God damn it. This is going to be a long fucking climb. Mua ha 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 you cannot escape me bright. Oh my god. Oh, maybe not. It, it was 5A was her apartment. Hey, you won't take as much. Say so that. I knew the text to speech would be a good option. We're about to get the 5A. It's locked. God damn it. Maybe can I talk to her neighbor? No, she told me not to. Oh, what's this letter? If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. What the fuck? I like playing horny in horror games. Mm. I didn't do this before. So I've been so much faster. Yeah, like something to do on the first floor will activate a thing for me to get the key. Oh, the basement.
So it could be 03B, 08A, so 03B and 08A could have a like, ski. I'm going to try that first before doing the basement. So either one of those could be Tiffany. And that's nice. Can't remember if it was B or A now. Fuck. Oh well. That's fine. Oh yeah, the door's open. Oh, there's the key. Nope, 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 nope. If he wishes to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Got a key for somewhere, but I don't know where. <laughs> Guess something to do in the basement. Morgan's about to watch me get murdered. Grab the key again. Yep. Some kind of seal is blocking my way. Wait, I wonder if I have to go back to that other room that had the blood that was open. Possibly. Okay, 
gotta head this way. Oh, Clavis M. Okay. I'll be right back, Asian Noodles. I will be right back.
Sorry about that. I had diarrhea, but I'm back. So, the name is Clavis M. This must be the game they're talking about. Let's see if Clavis am. Guess I'll just check every door till one of them open. What the fuck where these cans come from? Again, where are these fucking candles coming from? That door's open now. Every initiated follow follower knows that the that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven by passing them through the carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward be redacted with the second death. Such was the fate of that of that poor Amy. What the fuck? My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. I need to check rooms. Gary is a bitch. Uh, hello, Killer Caterpillar. The Caterpillar, how are you? Tackling this uh, head on. That door is not open. I don't think I can open it. Just doing a sideways jig. <laughs> it's not even in here, right? Can't go in here. This TV is acting weird. Nope. You are putting these candles everywhere. This is a fire hazard.
cane. So far, I'm not getting anything good on the floors. Can't open any fucking doors. You know, I have this key that's somewhere. Okay, so now you. Seal is weak. Seal is blocking my way. And we got this. I just gotta keep going up and checking at every freaking door. Oh, things are melting off the walls. That's great. Oh, a note. Elevator friend? He doesn't look friend with friendly at all. Wait, okay. One, four, two, five. I think. great with Roman numerals, so I may have gotten it wrong. Nothing happened. I got that wrong. Oh, the note's gone. God damn it. It was one four two six. It was one four two six. I was one number wrong. Thank fuck I remembered the number. Like I said, I am bad with Roman numerals. Now I got the second number and the last number correct. I 
Is there a way to check my notes? There it is. Yeah, that's one, four, two, and six. That's one, four, two, six. One. Oh, do I have to get off the floor? That might be it. I might have to get off the floor and come back. One. Four. the literal note code right there one four two six maybe it's a note for somewhere else I don't know I tried to do an elevator thing, it didn't work. There is no seventh floor. Oh, fucking shit. Seventh floor. And eighth floor. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our new will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Interesting. So Tiffany isn't bad. I don't know how to do the elevator code thing. Here's another note. Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them. Interesting. I guess floor nine I go. Mm, can't oh I don't 
don't think I can open that door. Nope. Okay, now I'm very much confused. Bookworm, are you still here? William's Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Party, Block Party. It'll be held on Halloween starting at 5 p.m. in apartment 9B. Activities will be will start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, aka those who receive this newsletter, are invited. Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all overly scary costumes and masks at home. To me, is still traumatized after last year's incident. Also, I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, we do not want a repeat of last year the power going out, so please bring treats, but no tricks. And just another friendly reminder, that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed at the in the apartment. Also, please be aware of Timmy's diet, diet and food allergies, and please be aware that he suffers from asthma, so please do not sneak up on him, or try to scare him. Again, he still has trouble after what happened last year. You will notice he has a new imaginary friend when you see him. Please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all for the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Millie, who has token to Timmy so, so well and has become like a part of the family. Debbie. Find something on floor ten. Sacrifice what you cling to. Oh, that's where the key goes to. Spacement dumb waiter. How to use? Pull up on the handle to open the hatch. Place item were being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close the ha close hatch. Press button to send dumb waiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumb waiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. One. Never mind. Give up the cross? I'm gonna check other rooms first. Can I go in you? No. Well, I got nothing else to do. I'll try that code one more time. After, since I got that note, talking about imaginary friend. One. Uh. 
<laughs> Four. I am alone within the stream, but it's fine. Two. And six. Nothing. Alright, I guess I'll throw the cross down. Oh, now there's candles. I'm gonna try to code now. Oh! Music changed. Gary lied to us. When you see it, run. God damn it. Don't go that way. What's the point of the elevator code thing? If the elevator doesn't work anymore. This way. Assholes. Well, I can't go the other way because I can't see. That's what gets me killed. And I can't take these with me.
Running, running, running. I don't know where I'm going, just running. What's this stuff right here? Oh, just a dude. Okay. Just gotta keep going. Wait, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Where the exit is. Fucking hell. Oh, I missed the door. I'm dead. I can't... It's so difficult with this Boy. stupid fucking camera. Because the light doesn't stay long enough. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You're gonna start chasing me. You're gonna start chasing me. I get it. Yeah, please get light soon. Fucking hell. Fucking have light again. That was nearly hell. Hit it every second. What? What the fuck?
I'm gonna try it now. Let's get one, four, two, six. If this doesn't work, I don't I, I don't know how to use the fucking elevator code. Alright, I, I am very confused. Hey, Kramer, if you're here, do you, do you know what to do with that fucking elevator code? Or anything in here. Ha! Brothers and si sisters, praise the unspeakable. We have been graced with the presence of another great demon. Alu is here. I do not understand his motive, but he has put his seal away, a uh, seal over the vest's door. This may be Tiffany's doing, but it may also be the test of our faith. Do not cease to pray, swallow your pills. You may have twice as many as normal. Seal yourselves in with bricks and mortar. And if the so-called priest shows up, Take him and eviscerate him over the altar, preferably still alive. Remember, Gary loves you. Should be a code at the bottom of Timmy's two drawings. Oh, I only have one drawing. Yeah, I got one. So no wonder my code didn't fucking work. <laughs> you need four more numbers, yeah. Way always open. Yeah, that's where I got that. I'm literally just checking everything.
can I get rid of you? Yes. Brothers and sisters, this month we will be host to a very special visitor. It is here to help prepare the way, way for the coming of the unspeakable. Of course, due to its special nature, it has full access to the entire building, including your apartments, bedrooms, etc. If you're lucky enough to see it, you would do well not to approach or speak to it. Find a dark or dimly lit area and try to stay out of its way. One of you will be blessed to find it has made its home in your dwelling. Do not go down into the hall it will make, no matter whose voice you hear down there. If you believe one of your fellow brothers or sisters is inside, please notify me and I will retrieve their remains in a timely manner. Also, just a reminder that rent and utilities are due by Friday. Love, Gary. See if there's anything else there. Please don't be dark. Okay. Keep going this way? Oh, there's more stuff over here. I'm an idiot. Gotcha. Aha. Bingo. My beloved Gary. Alas, the mask is already stained with the blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world if you dare. Tiffany. Second part of the code should drop. On the second part of the code should drop from the elevator crate. Do that again. Question Did you fight something called the mother? No, I did not. I didn't fight anything yet. I just ran from things. I wasn't paying attention, sorry. You're fine. I'm guessing I cannot move. it comes out. Because it's part of a different branch. I don't know though. Oh. How the fuck do I get past him? It 
It ain't fucking fair. He just guns for you. times seven. Uh, yeah, I did out of the clinic. Oh, wait, was that the mother? It might have been the mother. <laughs> yeah, I followed the cop out of the clinic. Okay, I'm guessing I'm supposed to fight him. And not run away. I'm guessing, I don't know. I don't know at this point. This running doesn't seem like an option. if fighting him is what I'm supposed to do. So the elevator should French tr should trigger if you try to go to the seventh floor. Oh. Oh, I saw him. Okay, so now. For our code correctly, it's one, four. Nothing happened. Thing. 
That's the elevator friend. D am I supposed to chase it? Probably at floor eight, since I can't go to seven. Not so just keep moving. Okay. Hello? Oh, okay. <sighs> Motherfucker. Too close. That was way too close of a comfort. Hello? Hello? Why? Why do I have to keep doing this shit? to different floors. Uh, it says to trump up and down between floors. I'm just gonna walk through different floors. Phone. 
one tick uh no one four two six two ten five one One, I totally didn't look at a cheat sheet for Roman numerals to understand what the numbers were. <laughs> Four, because I totally know my Roman numerals. Six. There's no need to judge me, book. Even though I feel like I'm always judged anyways. Two. That was supposed to happen or not. I want to try that again. One. Fuck, okay, you can't do this part yet. All right. Really? Need to 
rescue Lisa. Oh, god damn it. Well, I have to go to floor five anyways. No wonder why it... it Since he haven't fought anything yet. Ah. I mean, I fought that one thing in the basement, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> it wasn't really much of a fight. I'm a coming, Lisa. Lisa, Ted, God, you are alright. Good, we took you so good. It's so good, I can't see for work anymore. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. I'm not Lisa. Okay, luckily for once, the demon is slower than me. Hide it, John. Come on, come on, come on, please. Hide it. I didn't die. Okay. Okay, where are you at? Fuck, like you're on the top one. Hit the space bar. Hit the space bar. I'm guessing if I get hit by Lisa, I die. Really? That's when I get killed. When I find you. That is some bullshit. Okay, so I heard it a little bit. I heard it again some. Oh no, Lisa, I'm so sorry. So damn you made me do it. Well, Lisa's dead. Repenting too. That boss was a pain in the ass. So do I have to do the elevator? Can I do the elevator code now? Or will it still not work? I'm asking you, book. Y you'll get the second variation of ending one. Of, of, of ending one? Or is it just ending Are you able to do the code again, or...?
you know what I'm waiting, I'm just gonna put it in the code. I don't think so. Did the game tell you that it's still been broken somewhere? Yeah. That's how I was able to get to Lisa. The seal, the seal was covering Lisa. After he fought the demon in the basement, uh, uh, it was before I fought the first demon, and then the second demon, or I fought Lisa, dead. Now the demon who isn't having any Lisa. Now the seal was broken before. The demon with Lisa. That's actually how I was able to get inside the room. I had to break the seal. Now the game would have told you a seal had been broken somewhere else. Oh, I didn't get any message about that. I, I, only message I got about a seal was the one that was protecting Lisa. And that was it. I think he can leave the apartment. It's stash time. Lisa's dead. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm just gonna put 5 1 and see what happens. Probably nothing. Alright. It's at 1 this time. Why is it going up? Okay, now that's odd. It took me up instead of down. Oh, what? Oh. This door wasn't open before, so it opened the Door. Oh. Oh well. Yeah, that's the seal. <laughs> well. Now we know what the elevator goes for. It opens that door. <laughs> Wait, but if Blaze is dead, they don't have a host anymore. Oh, I'm back here. Yeah, I saw you, bitch. 
There's someone else who is missing. Ah, but we can't save them unless Lisa is alive. Okay, so they're dead. <laughs> They're fucking dead. <laughs> Very correctly, they went to the attic. Mr. and Mrs. Martin? Hello? Hello? Hello, housekeeping. Yep, I was right. They went to the attic. You're here at rest. Please. Amy, let's go back to the basement. You're so sad, dearie. Let's go. You need to get better. Rather well, there it is. Did she get better? You should be saved, her. Do you just see now? She's here with me, you do. We are going to see her as now. Oh, all by yourself. Go ahead. Please, do a little stick at me. Father Allred, Mr. Martin? You love you, Daddy. Please. Yep. October 30th, 1987. One day until the profane Sabbath. I fucked up. Only one letter this time. John, I'm getting report reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center on 4th Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that is the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not. Vaya con Dios. Father Garcia. How are you writing letters to me when you're dead? Bookworm, explain how the dad is writing me letters. I need explanations. Oh, this is part two, yep. Oh! Caps, can I go inside the daycare? No? Okay. We've been doing <laughs> with spirits this whole time. Little priest, how do you make a portal to hell? Come see me and I'll show you. It's not, it's not even really a riddle. The tunnels await. Mother Moon watcheth hey little her little ones behind the door of sleep. Daughter Chalice is filled an offering to the master of the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are last. Okay. 
Oh, Mason, you're blue. You're the moon. Mason's the moon. I don't think that's one of them. Welcome, children. That ain't one of them either. Oh! Max is the chalice. what the others are. That's just a fucking robot. I don't know if there's an eye one. Oh, you're moving now. Great. Is Ellie? Some fans just have references to other games. Ah. Guess we gotta. Okay, so let's go back. Got the bird. So we need to look for a bird and a star. That's sun. I don't think it's Omar, because it's covering up everything. That's an eye. Oh gee, what is this? Your notes? <laughs> yes. Is there more stuff down here? Fire. That's accurate. Also, take notice of their ages. Oh, okay. Oh, Ben. I can't. Can you tell me what Ben's age is? I can't. That is. What age is that? It just like a bunch of squares. To me. Ben. Age. Ben. Wait. Ben is star. And, and is. I, I seriously can't tell. Is that supposed to be. Whatever the fuck that is. I. I can't tell the age. It's too scribbled. Bookworm, help. Bookworm. What is the age? I am struggling. Wait. Is it nine? Is the number nine? Because I can kind of see a nine. I don't know what the age is, but I'll let you know. <laughs> no, just. No, the star is first. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see a nine. I, I guess I want to guess nine. 
Uh, so let's walk through the capsule. If you try to exit the front door, you'll get a cutscene where you can only explain the dire nature of the circumstances to the police. Ow. So Ben is nine. I'm guessing. Sin Moon Six That's because there's nothing Because nothing about that was calm, <laughs> yeah. This is a, a, a name, but there's no fish. Alright, Max. Max. Chalice. Bye. And I believe the last one, because there's only four, should be right here. Yep. that there so I can see that for a second. Okay. Notes. Oh, I have a lot of missing notes. Okay. Wait. The mother moon watched her little ones behind the door in her sleep. Okay. Moon's first. Not the star. Moon is first. Because it says mother moon first. It'll be six. Daughter Chalice, so five. Uh, and the bird, four. These vessels are not only like, truly. The fallen star shall guide them. And that'll be the last one, which is nine. Six, five, four, nine. Now, where the f- Now you have to do it in order as hinted in the children's drawings. What? Not in the po- What? What do you mean? I'm confused. What do you mean? What? Okay, so the star. So you said the star is first. Okay, so you see the star. So I guess nine. That's the only thing I can get from those fucking blobs. I don't know what. I'm guessing it's a nine. Okay. Is this one? Wait, no, 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 no. That doesn't have the red guy. 
this has the red guy. Nine, five. You have the red guy. I don't. Here's the problem. I. I don't know. I don't know. If this one's next, they're not. Yes, it is. Six. Third is four. So the code is nine, five, six, four. Okay, so where do I put the fucking code in? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so Ben... Wait. Hold on, it re reacted negatively. To star beam first. I try, yeah. Or is that supposed to do that? So nine. Five. Five is the chalice. Five. And the moon is six. Six. Wait, 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 no it's not, okay, so the third one will be pink, and the last one will be blue, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, alright, well, the third one technically will be pink, and the final one will be blue, okay, so, hold on, okay, so, Red did meet, meet the star, so the second one is orange, which means the code will be 9 6. Nine, six, five. Nine, six, five, and the bird is blue, right? Make sure. Yes. 9654. That's the code. Oh, you have to make them right colors. Yeah. I didn't see your message because I figured it out myself. <laughs> that should be the correct code. Four. <laughs> That's right, bitches. This is where it lives. Searcher. I got the big brain. Why does the gate sound like a fucking cow? soul at peace. If you're reading this, then congratulations. You're on your way to experience the wonders of our unspeakable future under the guidance of Gary. Gary, our brother. Gary, our friend. Gary, a normal human being just like you and me. 
as a tier one acolyte. Why does it sound like Patreon? You are just beginning your unspeakable journey to eventually see what Gary sees and prove yourself worthy to be a vessel fit to experience the second death, reserved for only the most worthy. To find out if you are a vessel, remember to attend meetings of the Eternal Order of the Second Death. Twice a week, follow Gary's instructions exactly. Be honest with him in all that you do. Do not ever ask what it is behind the door in the basement of the clinic. I already murdered a thing in the clinic. She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk on as husks. Go ahead, priest. S stare into the eyes of my mother. Okay. What a fuck? Oh, she did not like that question. <laughs> She did not like that question at all, but where? I still fuck her. She gave terrible blowjobs, but I still fuck her. Oh, hi. Oh, um, hi. What the fuck? You're reading this, congratulations. You have officially been granted tier 2 status in the internal order of the second death. Upon crossing the threshold from tier 1 to tier 2, your life as an acolyte will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the cam corners of, of rooms or experience feelings of lost time when holding sharp objects. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your home. Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. There's just few of the marvelous blessings that await you in the new stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to a new level of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your teeth to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Gary loves you. Oh damn, what if I'm into that shit? Gaze upon the magnificence of La Pierta Caracha. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of this order receiving a second death in the loving embrace of Antimeter. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the safe family. We invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they have the need of rest. There you are, you bitch. Frankenstein, Vanoss, and a goat. No idea if it did anything. Ordog and Tyrith is pot full of sinners. 
The seats refile. Okay. Bail giveth favor. The low seats are made high. Five seats in the north facing west. Five in the east, south facing east. What the fuck? I'm confused. Andrus somewhat dis discord. East and west trade places. What? I'm leaving this area. I'm not intelligent enough to understand. Okay, so what is it? Bail giveth favor. The low seats are made high. Do I just activate only one of them and see what happens? Do the seats move? The seats do move! Dog driveth his pot full of sinners. The seats revolve. Well, I don't know the demons. Andrew's somewhat discord. East and west street places. I am so confused. Five seats in the north facing west. Five in the south facing east. So we got. Okay, so I need to fix it so there's four. Or not four. Five and five. Now it's it's six and five. What do you do? Okay, one, two, three. Still six and five. What the fuck? Where the fuck did he come from? Why am I looking at a giant tit? I'm sorry, that was the sun. Is, is this the ending? I'm confused. you are ready. Ready for what? Oh, that's where I was.
they're dead. Very much so. Oh, I'm behind here now. I guess I didn't have to worry about that puzzle anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's even one crawling away. Deliver two into Moloch's hands before opening his navel. Just a woman sitting on the toilet. for a statue. Is that a penis? <laughs> it, okay. Why? Let me leave. What the fuck? More this. I guess when he grabs out, fucking move. Wait, maybe I can just run away from him. I could maybe just run away from him. So he only popped out when I attacked him. I probably just run. Be big brain. Or not. Oh wait, no, I can just, I, I can literally just run away. <laughs> that was sad. Oh, she's, the, the toilet's now facing me. To the right, yep. There you got one. Was that thing even much of a threat? It doesn't even notice me. Let's play red light, green light. That was red light. Oh, it's that thing. It's that thing. It's that thing.
You miss me, bitch. Okay, that time wasn't even fair. I can literally just avoid it. My red light, green light. I know when it's green light. Oh. Okay, I'll say green light when it's green light. God damn it. I'm playing it safe. I'll just inch towards it and come back. Slow and steady wins the race. Wait, I wonder if I could use the fucking cross. I wonder if I could pull the cross out. Yeah, I can put the cross out and it won't kill me. I'm an idiot. I'm a little idiot. Yeah, see? I can pull the cross out. I'm moving, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. You can't fight that one. Ow. Okay, now that's some bullshit. Miss me, bitch. <laughs> How did I dodge that? How did I do that? Just in case I die. Save.
the number two onto Monlock's hand before opening its navel. I I did that. I I did that. There's two gone. I decided to come out and come back in. Yeah, you gotta get the center one. Oh my god. You only got two orbs. Okay, she had explosive diarrhea. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is that thing? What in the fuck is that thing? What in the fuck is that thing? I am not moving my. No, I am not stop moving. I am not stop moving. Now it's death sentence. Mortis. What in the fuck was that? Huh? What was that book where probably Dawn? Don't do the hands yet. Oh, fuck. Why well, didn't save? Just get the center one. Hold on. I know how to get myself killed. Give me, a bitch. Didn't get I didn't place it yet. Wait, I didn't place this I didn't place it on the hand yet. I didn't save or I'll place it on the hand. What the fuck? Did it save against my will? Move, move, move! Move, move! <sighs> Guess you gotta deal with that. Fuck. Why well, is that fair that pentagrams keep you from moving? Is there a way to get that thing to fuck off? Oh, 
I can hurt it. I can hurt it. If I had a wider area, if I can go diagonal, things would be different. Yeah, I'm dead. This is just so unfair. There's no mention of it in the walkthrough. Great. That's great. That's great. Probably because people avoided it. Bet that hurt, didn't it, bitch? Where are you at? Where are you at? Bring it, bring it. Damn it! It's too fast! Go, go, go! Move! God damn it, I was doing so well! With the fucking... Things are moving too fast! I hate it when things move faster than you and makes it so unfair! It's not all that fun when the game's unfair against you. Where are you at? Get that hurt, damn it. was even fair at that point. Oh, I got saved? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Get out of the central! That wasn't even fair that time. That's not even fair. And now the thing is gonna come after me again. <laughs> Just fucking catch me. As soon as you leave me alone after I beat your fucking maze shit. Get out. Get out! Get out! I'm dead. It's not fair, because the second I get to where it's safe, it fucking summons the goddamn sigil. This is starting to piss me off. Because you, you have no time to wait. Yes, 
Yes, yes. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh, that doesn't get rid of him. What if I can just do this? I continuously go back and forth. Okay, I wasn't there. That wasn't even fair that time. Oh, you fucking... Just die. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. That's not fair. Fuck you. safe spot. Go to the safe spot. Go to the fucking safe spot. Ooh. Ooh. Are you proud of me, Bookworm? I fucking killed that thing. Even though the walkthrough didn't talk shit about killing it. What's the sound I'm hearing? Whatever. Oh, I think we confused the game. <laughs> Was that not supposed to happen? Because that guy was from ending two surround. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's fucking grab it. What the fuck? Well, he's supposed to be here. How the hell am I supposed to hurt this thing? It's the mirror sh fucking. How do I hurt it? You can run back to the room to the south to reset. Did I just cheese it by doing this?
it's not going away. Kill the demon in the mirror. Point your cross at the mirror. I don't know what you're talking about. I pointed the cross at the mirror. It is... This is... This is gonna make me lose it. I hate this fucking mirror battle shit. Okay, so I'm right here. <laughs> God damn it! up right yeah I can it's just that you had to face the demon exactly <gasps> that was so close I would have been so mad if I died so fucking mad in that jail. Save! Oh, thank fuck I don't have to do that again. Wait, what? Oh my god. It still came after me even though I didn't do this. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> Diving in too deep. <sighs> Mother's... Ma mas master spirits. The body of the mother saith suspended beneath this crucible of the profane Sabbath. If thou canst unlock the final secret of the crucible, know ye this. The cross hath the power to we weaken the mother, but only someone who is ablaze with the purifying fire canst truly destroy her. If thou canst understand these words, thou shalt know the true cause of thy faith. Yeah, because floating demon was part of the ending too, Sprout. We broke the game. I didn't mean to. You are now at a tier 4 acolyte. More Patreon shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have descended beyond everything that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own. Your actions are not your own. You belong, body and spirit, to Gary. Your face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the binding pain of the knife. You are truly Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not, only a little longer, and you'll experience a second death. Adios, Alma Perdilla. Gary loves you. Partake of the dark. Oh, oh no. No 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 
Nope, 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 nope. Whole lot of nope. Oh, let a nope. Why are there so many fucking twists and turns? No, 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 no. I can't tell if I could have made it over. Oh, okay. Life. Okay. That's a dead guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fuck you. Oh, he's alive. He ain't dead. <laughs> And scary that time, but why? I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. <laughs> Jesus. Break the seal. Ooh, okay. No, 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 no. Ooh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why are there so many? Why are there so many? No fight, just run. Fuck off, please. I need to do this thing. You are set free. Save the prisoner. <gasps> no, 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 no. This way? Oh, ah. I think. My dearest colleague, Jacob. Thank you for the right letter. I am delighted to hear of that success of your venture in Pennsylvania. However, it was not enough to persuade me to join your cause. I have no in interest in, in crumbling ghost towns, nor government experiments, nor the gibbering behemoths that lurk shamefully in the darkness between worlds. Such matters are not worthy of my expertise. My methods may be more delicate than yours, but I assure you they have given me the straight from the source. The Antichrist will step forth very soon. The second death will consume this world. This pitiful fleshy sphere still in this infancy yet everlasting too late to redeem. When a time comes, I hope you may reunite as cohorts, albeit not as equals. Love, anyways. 
Uh, love always scary. P.S. I almost forgot to thank you for the pet. I will keep it outside my private quarters as a guard against intruders. So what's the point of coming here? <gasps> oh, shh. Wait, really? That's it? That was sad. Hello. Oh, hello, Apollo. How is you? I'm good. How the fuck do I leave? And oh, there we go. <gasps> okay. I'm in the process of making Stardew Valley fan art for myself. Ah. Of myself. been doing art. Nice. Yeah. Um. I don't know what the heck I posted in the art channel last. Why my Discord? Oh, that's where the last okay. I don't know why my Discord's being weird. So what game are you playing? Uh, Faith. Faith is the game. Fun. It's a horror game. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Finally, I unlocked the door. Did you really want to open this door? Yes. I don't know, I'm Christian. I don't know me quarters of hell. Sometimes 
This game is very cool, Yeah, John, son of man, what dost thou wish? This is too much for me. I am so afraid. Please let me escape this place. And the girl? I just want to go home. If I lead us thou to safety, Her fate shall be sealed upon thine head. I'll do whatever you want. Just stay me away from here. Swear it. I swear it. Damn, I don't want to be friends with that guy. <laughs> oh, I'm Sounds free. Like a dick. No, sir, police cars. October 31st, 1987, the profane Sabbath. My name is Gary Miller. So you're the one behind all this. In the name of the Lord, I demand to know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Well, you have come this far. I suppose you deserve some answers. Fine, you get three questions, but no more. What were you asking? Uh, yeah, the injection. What the fuck are you injecting me with? A gift to prepare your mind and body for the unspeakable to enter. You could not withstand this presence without it. <laughs> Why the log says, priest, you should be thanking me. I need to look for the boys, so where's the boys? Oh god, get down, you know where the feet when you were on the ocean. Wait, what? But you could not resist chasing after lost souls. I suppose you wish they were real, just like the way Mrs. Martin. That is how I know you will come to me. I guess... Second death? A simple procedure once the vessel is prepared. First, we carve out their face with your actual knife. Then we pass a living group or trophy opening and wait for a response. And that, God, is how you make a portal to hell. Ow. Are we done chatting? <laughs> I think you have stood in my way long enough. Oh, final boss fight. Time for you to finally build before the power of the unspeakable. You will make a fine sacrifice. A guard. Red of spiders. What the fuck? <laughs> you just said... <laughs> 
through a bunch of spiders. Ooh. Oh, I can move. I too. Enemy has move names. Yeah. Here, don't it? Shit at me. Just accept death. You leave a giant opening in the rain of spiders. <laughs> You're not very bright, are you? Out of all the bosses in this game, this is by far the easiest. Ow! That hurts. I gotta go get the cross. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck you. That's what I had to do. Okay. At least I got infinite lives. Can't cut straight on hitting him. God damn it. I ran right into that. Wait, he made him so vulnerable? Why did he do that? You literally were murdered by a nun. How are you alive? This is the gross, the profane, the source 
to do. More this. That wasn't supposed to happen. Use gun to beat demons in that religion. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Oh, dude, help me. Help me. I figured out what I have to do. Shoot the fucking bitches. You missed. Are you missing this one demon? <gasps> okay, thank you. Ah, god damn it! Shoot them! You are a terrible partner! <laughs> warning. God damn it, shoot the goddamn demon. What did I just do? <laughs> A lot of cops are dead. He's killing them all in the house, so he can't be terrible. Portal closed. No pigs. <laughs> What does he-ho mean, anyways? Okay, how long was my fucking... Son. Why do my feet super fucking shit keep activating? Sun in Spanish. <gasps> How long was it like that? How long? I 
a while. God damn it. I couldn't tell because I was doing boss fight. Oh, I heard sounds. said nothing because I thought it was funny you weren't paying attention. Fuck you. The end. Ending one. A new purpose. Holy Trinity, for now. I may come back to it in the future to get the other endings. But for now, that's how it's gonna be. I have been streaming straight seven and a half hours. <laughs> I think I deserve a break. None of these people. That could be reading. I know them. It's probably either supporters or yeah. Yeah, I know that could be reading. They're a YouTuber. We're gonna take a look at the backgrounds, then I'm gonna raid someone properly. What are the new backgrounds? We've got you, we've got you. Oh, hi. I'm not Christian enough to like this. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the. We're gonna stick with default. Okay, so that doesn't have it happened yet. Not yet unlocked. You push buttons on your avatar again. God damn it. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Wait, what? Professional VTuber, fuck you. Anyway, let's see if there's anyone in the ring.
So now let's go right here, here. Where's Hatchet still going? Oh shit, Hatchet is still going. Bloodcorn, what are our raid words gonna be? I believe that you can do a. As weird as Hatchet. I believe in you. Yeah, but I got... But only for a little bit longer. Uh, uh, gotta head off then. Night. See ya, Jew. Thank you for stopping by. I'm waiting for your raid words, Bookworm. That, hmm, how about, what does it take to open a portal out? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Alright, we can do that. Alright, do you want to do your special words before I end stream? You're ready, whenever you are. I won't start the raid till you're ready. Fire Red Emblem asked me, like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more struggling through unholy horror games. Give her money if you can to help her get good at gaming. Yo, Fire Red Emblem, they tossing out invites to the struggle bus, catching flights on what? Fright Nights, huh? Bright's battling demons in digital dungeons. So hit that like, smash subscribe, fling some coins so they can thrive. Show some love, keep the curse alive. What? While Bright's gaming makes the dead revive. We, Loud pack shit, lifting the vibe, support the scream stream, let the chaos jive. Bow wow. <laughs> That this would be Dracula. <laughs> I don't know who Dracula Flow is, but that is interesting. <laughs> that was funny as shit. Anyways, are we ready for the raid? Everyone ready? Yep. 
Alright, in three, two, one.